What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, it's, it's, it's funny to see these super huge mega corporations who, uh, who, who <clears throat> are always constantly telling people exactly uh, how to live their life and how to be a better human. Well, they turn out to be absolute garbage humans. And in this case, a massively woke company just got hit with a $100 million fine after being busted while being horrible, horrible hypocrites and liars, and you just love to see it. Now, woke corporations slapped with $100 million fine because employees cheated on their ethics exams. If you're gonna cheat on something, I guess you would cheat on your ethics exam, right? I, I mean, I guess, I, I guess, I suppose you would cheat on that because, you know, that, that's what you do. By the way, minor shout out, huge uh, announcement coming up. Coffee Brand Coffee, we uh, have purchased the ability to make K-Cups now. Um, we're going to have a little pre-order thing coming up for that uh, real soon, maybe in the next couple of days. Uh, everything's in process. We're all caught up on our orders. Everything's back in stock. It's summertime. If you haven't tried our cold brew yet, absolutely try that. Um, and, and our teas. Our teas are flying off the shelves, um, but also our coffees. Almost any of our coffees can be used for iced coffee too. I recommend probably the Colombian, uh, you know, for the iced or uh, the Ethiopian. So I would probably recommend uh, Blend 003, our medium roast uh, for delicious iced coffee. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Our company's not woke. We just make coffee, tea, and cocoa, and we shut the heck up. And you support the channel. Employees at professional services company Ernst & Young cheated on their ethics exams, leading to a $100 million fine. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission announced Tuesday, EY, known as one of the, quote, big four accounting firms, admitted that a significant number of audit professionals cheated on their ethics portion of their certified public accountant exams. Fun fact, um, after I realized that I could not code when I was in college, uh, I thought about being an accountant. And Whitewater is a very good accounting school and I loved accounting, um, but I uh, chose a different path anyway, but I loved it. Um, the company also withheld evidence of its misconduct of misconduct of its officials. Now, give you an idea who Ernst & Young is. They are a massive, massive accounting firm, which uh, dedicates enormous amounts of time, energy, and budget to woke virtue signaling. You go to their website, and there's just all sorts of stuff. Diversity, equity, and inclusiveness. Diverse perspectives combined with an inclusive culture and equitable opportunities drive better decision-making, stimulate innovation, increase organization agility, and strengthen resilience to disruption. Well, I suppose it doesn't do much to stop cheating. Inclusive organizations maximize the power of all difference, differences and realize their full potential of all their employees. This minimizes blind spots. It's like bleep boop, bleep bleep boop, bleep bleep boop, boop, buzzword. To demonstrate our commitment to, the, to this, Ernst & Young's executive committee has signed the EY board diversity statement, which underscores our increased focus on diversity and inclusion. Here you have, of course, their, their diversity statement. You also have, we challenge everyone to take action to eradicate racism. Our commitment to anti-racism. Remember that that's like the word that the left uses. It's like, if you're just a normal person, regular guy or gal, out there, you know, just living your life and you're like, oh, I treat everyone the same. Um, you know, uh, I don't really care about somebody's race, the color of their skin, more so like the kind of person they are and, and all these things are kind of important to me. They would come out and say, well, that's not enough. You have to be actively anti-racist. And by being actively anti-racist, that essentially goes around calling everyone else. That means going around calling everyone else racist. Systemic racism, discrimination, and injustices are a human rights crisis. We vow to continue to be a force and a voice for a more just and equitable world. We've made a commitment to sustained action because building an anti-racist world 
does not end when the news dies down. There's no finish line. There is only the work. Quote, it's not enough to be not racist. We need to speak out and take action against it. Said more explicitly, we need to be anti-racist. Kelly Greer, Ernst & Young, United States Chair and Managing Partner. I, dig I digress. I continue now. EY is known as one of the big four. Um, oh yeah, this action quote is from the SEC, I imagine. This action involves breaches of trust by gatekeepers within the gatekeeper entrusted to audit many of our nation's public companies. Gubir Grawal, director at the SEC's Enforcement Division, said in the release, It's simply outrageous that the very professionals responsible for catching cheating by clients cheated on their ethics exams, of all things. EY will be forced to pay $100 million dollars in exchange, in, uh, and by the way, and engage in extensive undertakings to address the ethics breaches. The SEC will not permit the submission of misleading information or any action that delays the or frustrates our mandate to protect investors and our markets. Melissa Hodgman, Associate Director of the SEC's Enforcement Division, added Ernst and Young faces significant sanctions and extensive remediation to ensure that its culture and conduct meet the ethical standards required by those responsible for the integrity of our capital markets. EY is based in London, England, joins in other leading corporations in denouncing racism and committing to social justice initiatives. EY is taking actions as a U.S. firm to eradicate racism and discrimination by leveraging our influence to drive strategic change in our firm and in uh, the web and in the communities where we work and through public policy, the firm said on its website. However, EY is not the first left-leading financial services company that has been penalized for its poor ethical standards. The SEC also imposed a $1.5 million penalty on BNY Mellon, Milan, uh, for misstatements and omissions concerning its environmental, social, and governance, social responsibility goals, the ESG thing, the, 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 the political thing that they, uh, that Tesla supposedly, uh, you know, was no longer a part of it's coincidentally after they wanted to buy Twitter. The agency said that its investment advertiser, advi sorry, advisor practice represented or implied in various statements of all investments in the fund under gun and ESG quality review between July 2018 and September 2021. Although, quote, that was not always the case. Likewise, former and current employees at Wells Fargo blamed the firm for conducting fake interviews with female and minority applicants to artificially increase, di increase diversity numbers. The employees said the interviews were no more than attempts to support diversity goals and avoid regulatory audits. In August 2020, Wells Fargo had agreed to pay $7.8 million to settle a U.S. Department of Labor claim, saying that the bank discriminated against more than 34,000 African-American applicants for banking customer sales and service and administrative support positions, as well as over 300 female applicants for administrative support positions. Wells Fargo, however, joined in other investment banks in their diversity pushes after the passing of St. Floyd. This is a painful time for our nation, Wells Fargo CEO Charlie Sharp said at the time. As a white man, as much as I can try to understand what other people are feeling, I know I can't really appreciate and understand what people of color experience. These companies are all supposed to like be in charge of money and um, you know manage uh, against fraud and all these type of things, but they spend their time and money. It's so funny, like these companies all like literally lied about their DE and I stuff. Like we're super woke. We wanna we wanna do all this amazing stuff, and we think you the plebs, um, you know, you should do this and and be a better human being because you know we know. We know the truth. We know uh, exactly what you need to be doing. We're a corp. Excuse me. We're a corporation. That's a weird thing I talk about often, like how the left nowadays worships corporations. Back when I was young and liberal, like openly liberal, I hated corporations. I hated big pharma. I hated censorship. Somehow those become Repu became Republican values over the past ten years, and I don't know how it happened.
maybe the whole thing just shifted left. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited to uh, hear about the K-Cups thing. I'm going to do like some, um, some pre-order with a special gift uh, because it'll take a little bit on the first run of them. Uh, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. And, and uh, in the meantime, definitely check out some of our coffee. I would absolutely, I mean, we have over 600 reviews now and we average five star or like 4.9 stars, 123 five star reviews. Uh, here's 71 five star reviews, uh, 57, like just check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.